Okay, so what's happened so far with our uh, CSS designer page is not too much. All we've really done is uh, copy the last page that we did last week and uh, put in a new page and uh, added some links. Uh, but now the time has come in the instructions here to, uh, uh, to get some uh, CSS coding going. So... Uh, one thing that I did I already do this I think I did but probably not and that is that in the instructions I tell you to uh, rename the assignments to match their content and co uh, we've already done that and then code them into an unordered list once again I'm uh, sort of thinking that you already have a little bit of HTML experience and all this means is uh, to get an, an unordered list you're just gonna put the list of the items and bullet points which I already have and I guess I already had and if I view the uh, page source on this all that means is that at the very beginning we had an unordered list the UL opening with list items and then uh, we closed it and therefore we got what we have so I'm gonna disregard that we'll just keep on going uh, to uh, get some CSS going. In Visual Studio, we're going to make a copy of Week 3 folder, rename it as Copy Week 4. We've done that. Create a new file, and we're going to call it styles.css. So this is important because that's where the CSS code will actually live. Although uh, your page is an HTML page, it will depend on this one file in your uh, folder to uh, go and get the coding. So after creating it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, uh, we're going to insert the text to get it started. So these two lines, starting with the at sign, uh, all the way to the slash in the second line, I'm going to highlight, right click, and copy. So all this is saying is that, okay, CSS, you know, once you start, uh, get the character set, that is the, uh, the uh, symbols, the letters, the uh, characters that you see in your page are going to be uh, zoned to UTF-8. That is our Western alphabet. This is the these are the letters that we're familiar with. And then it's just a little tag here that says this is a CSS document. So I've already copied this. Let me verify that by highlighting, right click, and copy, and head back to my Visual Studio. And I'm going to click on my Explorer so I see all my files. I'm working inside of week four where my index file is already there and you'll see by the way every time that I click on something it opens up that file or at least it shows it to me these tabs on top they're just telling me what's going on this is index.html in week four this is what I want this is index.html at the beginning of the page I can close this if I wanted to just to make sure I'm not messing with it I just want the week four index.html Alongside this index.html, I need to create that styles.css, and it's very important that it happens here because it's this file that already has in its line 6 the, a reference to it linking to a CSS file called styles.css. It's already adding the relationship to be a style sheet, which is what we're going to be working on. And this is an old uh, timey uh, descriptor that says it's a text file. Uh, I'm not too concerned about this as long as it's there and it should already be there. So let's, uh, I'm going to right click on week four and tell it to create a new file and I'm going to call it styles.css. It would help if it had two S's. I'll right click to rename, add the final S at the end, press enter. So just by clicking on that, as see it's got a little hashtag here. Uh, and it's on track. We just we just created it. Uh, so I have a blank file. Other than if I right click and tell it to paste, Control V would have been fine. I get the two lines that I just copied. I'm gonna get rid of some of that spacing just to get it going. But the character set is defined as UTF-8, and our CSS document is at the very top. And now we begin our CSS adventure. I've already shown you a couple of things uh, that CSS can do, but not much. This is going to be a messy assignment. It could be long, but uh, I think you'll get to see a lot of CSS in action and how it works. As I said before, there's lots of breadcrumbs to uh, follow along. If 
I scroll down here after the two videos, there should be more by the time you see this. Uh, there's going to be W3Schools links, and the first thing that we're going to be working on is going to be the body element. I'll explain what this means when I open up the recipe. Uh, just know that all of these things, these each and every single one of this link, these links, uh, will take us back to W3Schools and tell us what the codes are and how they work. Uh, I would like for this to be an automatic process, but since uh, we're using free web tools like Visual Studio Code, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, we're going to be needing some elbow grease, let's just say that. Dreamweaver is uh, real easy to use, and this makes a little bit of sense uh, after you've used it for a while. Hopefully, this will make about the same amount of sense as Dreamweaver does, except that you don't have to pay for it. So that being said, let's uh, scroll up, up here. I just mentioned a recipe. The recipe is going to be this file, this link, the CSS recipe. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up a Google Docs document. And this is the recipe. It's two pages. And it looks like a lot. And it might be. But all of these things are what's going to help us uh, add the styling to our CSS style sheet that will then make our document that you're familiar with look like this one. So before this happens, you will see that there are some stars, there's some people in the background, etc. Images that are being pulled from the web page to display. We haven't had a chance to talk about images and we won't talk too much other than to say that they need to be somewhere in the directory. You need to upload them to GitHub. GitHub is a free service. It uh, hosts your code. It hosts uh, messages. It hosts web pages. At the same time, it just like uh, some of the uh, cloud drives, it will hold your information for you. So without further ado, let's download. I'm going to click on the images folder and it's telling me that it's going to open or download at least a zip file called images. I'm going to tell it to save the file. I'm going to go put it somewhere where I can find it. I'm going to put it in my PC uh, in the desktop inside a folder called files and save it there. I'll follow it from Firefox. Uh, somewhere around here there's going to be a, an arrow that shows me where it went, right there. And I'll click on the folder to open it. Maybe you're using Chrome. Uh, hopefully you know how to follow it in Chrome as well. And there is my, well this setup I don't need because that's the same file that I'm looking at in Google Docs. And images.zip is the zip file. If I right click on Windows, I can say Extract All. If you're using a Macintosh currently, you can double click it and it will uh, create a new folder called Images and put all the files in there. Here then are my images in my Images folder. I'll double click to see what's in there. And there are header images, header stars, page backgrounds, etc. There's this is a transparent background. I wish that my computer would show you what these are, but we'll see them soon enough. I think that it's just thinking about it. I'll uh, go back just so that I can see the images folder. If you are using a PC and you see a Mac OS X, this is just some uh, afterthought that uh, Macintosh adds to all the zip files. I'm going to click on that and delete it. You don't need it in Macintosh either. Just know that images is what you need. I'll move this out of the way a little bit and I'm going to go back into my GitHub account in my github.com uh, rather. I'm inside my uh, repository ITSC1401 rather your username .github.io. Make sure that you go into the week 4 folder. Here's your index file or my index file and here uh, this is where my CSS will pop up, and also this is where my images should be. Uh, easiest way to get the images up here is to go back to that folder that I just uh, uh, unzipped. And uh, not the one that zipped, this images.zip. I really don't need it anymore, and I feel comfortable deleting it since I can download it from the uh, web page. And images, which has the uh, images that I just mentioned and looked at, uh, this folder, the folder itself, not individual files, but the folder, this is what I want to click 
and drag onto the GitHub page so that it uploads it. it. Says drag additional files here to add them to your repository. I don't need any additional files. It already has acknowledged that my headers, one, two, three, four of them, are inside the images folder. So what GitHub is going to do, it's going to create an images folder and then put each one of these files in there for me to use. Uh, I can commit the changes. The uh, GitHub has already put in a little comment for me at files be upload. I can put more in there, but it's not needed. And then I'll scroll down a little bit more and I will tell it to commit the changes. That being said, it's processing the files. And uh, these files are not very large, so it shouldn't take too long. If it takes too long, then uh, something went wrong. Uh, I'm going to scroll down again. Uh, it, whenever you do an upload, it takes you back to your index for some reason. So you can always click on week four and see that the images folder is indeed here. And the files that we uploaded are here. So just to see what's going on, maybe I can click on page background. And sure enough, here's the page background that is seen on the CSS Designer final page. There's also a header image, the uh, people background, and the header star. All of these items will be used in our file. And then finally, the transparent background, which since it's transparent, I guess, we really don't see it very well. If at any point we have problems with the files, we can re-upload them. So now that I've done this and I've talked for more than 10 minutes, I think this would be a good break point for you to consider what's going on with the files. Make sure that your github.com account has created a uh, week four folder, which we did before. Inside the week four folder, there's an index file that we're working with, and there's also now an images folder. What follows, and maybe I'll do this in this video, and that is in visual code, we have created the styles.css. I'm gonna file, save this, file, save, make sure that it's there. Click on the git icon, make sure that the check mark is clicked. And I'll click on my three dots and tell it to push the files up there. I can't push the remotes because tried running pull. Okay, well, this is a good error to have right now because what's happened is that since I didn't do this before and rather than pulling or rather pushing this up there, I created the uh, folder in the uh, server. And so now it's telling me before you uh, upload what you got, make sure that you download what's up there. So I'm going to cancel this. I don't need to see the errors and I'm going to close this message and tell it to then click here and tell it to pull so that it gets me the stuff that's up there. I'll check my Explorer and I see that in my week four folder there's now an images folder and here's my images. I can't, well actually I can't see them in my uh, Visual Studio code. So it just went up there and it downloaded the files that I uploaded and put them into my, into my workflow. Could I have put these files straight into the directory and have it upload, just push them up there? Probably so. Uh, either way, whatever works for you is fine. I would follow the steps that I just took. Since I just uh, pulled to make sure that I had everything, I guess this would be a good time since it's giving me a managing error here to once again make sure that I click on the git source control, uh, click on my check mark, and I'll just say uh, uploaded images. And click the check mark. No changes to commit, but if I click the three dots, by all means, then push. Hopefully, we won't get an error now. And refresh once it's done. And uh, soon enough, I hope, we can go back to the page. GitHub, ITSC1401, GitHub.io, uh, reload. Well, there's nothing here other than the text that we did. But if I go to my GitHub.com page, uh, the images are there. And the index is here. I'll scroll this back or rather refresh and I see that my styles.css 
which is mostly blank, has now been uploaded. So through all that rigmarole, we've uploaded, we've downloaded some files, and uh, we're ready to start to CSS code in the next video.